Okay. Okay. Today is January 19, 2015. This mini monkey is male. It's about 8 years old. Has a large swelling here on the right perineum. So this is called a right perineal hernia. Because on the right side. The left side, there's no hernia. Now, what happened was that uh, at first, the, the swelling was very small, but the owner didn't, uh, didn't do anything about it. Now it's so big, but still the dog is eating and drinking, so there's no problem. Now this perineal hernia in, in, happens mostly in male dogs. Uh, they are not sterilized. This one is not sterilized, and there's another testicle here, a retained testicle here. There. Okay, so most of, the, most of the time you don't find it in female dogs, but they do have, but it's very rare in females. So it's believed to be due to the hormones, uh, the testosterone, which uh, affects the, the pelvic diaphragm. So the opening becomes loose, the muscles split, and the intestines, the aumental fat, and sometimes the bladder and the prostate comes up. Now, you look at this, this uh, hernia is very big, so it's very hard to push in right now. Huh? Now I can feel something here, something here there. So we don't know whether it's a stool or not. But you look at here, it, it looks like it looks like it could be a, a large prostate. We call it a hyper benign hypertrophy, benign prosthetic hypertrophy. Yeah, it's quite a, a big lump here. This could be the prostate because old dogs have prosthetic enlargement. Now this part will be aumental fat and uh, intestines. But so far the dog can eat and drink and pee and poo. Okay, now we go to the educational part of the previous cases. Now the previous cases done, I will uh, go to the website. Now normally the top is vet's website here. So we will go to the dogs to know more about perineal hernias. So the dogs, then has perineal hernias are male dog problems. So I put under male dog problems. Those dogs which are not sterilized have this problem. Okay, so I click here. Then uh, perineal hernias surgery is done here. Neutering the male dog will prevent actually perineal hernias during the old age because it is believed to be uh, common in unneutered male dogs. We will see the cases now. Now this is a Boston Terrier, 7 year old, has a per perineal hernia on the left side. Not so big as this uh, mini Maltese, but it's, it is uh, big enough. And uh, the surgery is to put back in, push back in everything and stitch up the skin. And uh, th in this case, there is no more complaint after this surgery in 2010. So this is the left perineal hernia. And uh, now we look at another case. We look at another case. This is the worst case I've, I've done. Now you can see this case. There are two perineal hernias, the left and the right. It's been going on for a long, long time. It's going on for this uh, not neutered again, male silky terrier, 10 years old. He cannot urinate and he cannot lie down. So they are worried about the upper dog dying from anesthetic but this is the worst case I've seen now this case and the mini Maltese uh, is almost the same now so this one was operated by me now you can see that uh, the skin is there's a lot of loose skin here so this one this one is the right side and this is the left side operated on so I advise neutering but the owner didn't come because Many of them don't uh, don't follow up, and then uh, the hernia came back again. But sometimes perineal hernias can recur again uh, due to the 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 chances of it not coming back is uh, is less if it's very big. It's a big hernia. So now I, I see this dog. Now this dog I've done the surgery very long ago. You can see this is in two zero zero eight. Now this is a Pomeranian with left and right uh, perineal hernia and in this case the owner was thinking that the dog was constipated you cannot pass motion but actually the problem was 
the intestines, the rectum are inside here. Now this 13 year old Pekingese cross, so it was said to be conservation for 19 days. But actually the problem was uh, the perineal hernias on both sides. After the surgery, the dog can pass motion and urine. Now this surgery is done, you can see, normally you have to cut a piece of extra skin and cut it off and uh, so that it's not so uh, loose, so much loose skin. So you can see, uh, be careful not to stitch up the nerve, within the nerve and blood vessels and trim the excess skin, trim the excess skin. So the dog pass normal stools after the hernia is re uh, repaired. Now this, this, this person had hand, actually Dr. Daniel's hands, but uh, of course at that time he was still a student in 2008. And uh, you, 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 you can see that, uh, of course, as a student, he, he was studying about perineal hernia during internship. Okay, now we go another case. Now this case might not be perineal hernia. It's just a swelling here, but nothing was done. The owner didn't want any, any surgery. Now this case, this case shows that perineal hernia can come back. And uh, it was done by one vet. And after the vet did, I think the hernia came back again, but the owner didn't want to pay for any more uh, surgery. So this is a case I saw in 2010, about five years ago. So the, the more and more intestines and uh, momentum fat comes out. So uh, the XY is equal to scar of a hernia repaired by a vet six years ago. And uh, after that, the owner didn't want anything already, so because of anesthetic risk at 12 years of age. So perineal hernias do recur, it do come back. Uh, depends on uh, how badly it is, how, how big the, the defect is in the muscle. Doesn't guarantee that it won't come back, but it must be done again, it comes back. Otherwise you can see that it's, it's a big bulging one here. Okay, so so other than that, uh, the other case of a parent hernia in a 10 year old Shih Tzu, the Shih Tzu one is here. Okay, this one is another old dog there, presented as constipation. Uh, constipation, you can see X is a hernia here. Another male dog again. You see, so so often it's male dogs, and uh, you can see he cannot he cannot uh, pass motion well because the stools are stuck in the rectum. Difficulty in pooping in passing motion. Then uh, you can see this one. The backside swelling X there. It's not a very big one, no? but uh, it has problems uh, pooping. It's called right perineal hernia in 2010. Then uh, now I'm showing the surgery I've done. Last time I didn't, I didn't use video. You can see, first of all, you have to open up one big cut. You cannot open this one, then you have the retractor. This retractor is to retract the side so that you can have a better view. Now, in this case, because the hernia is a very small one, so you can uh, easily repair it. Uh, perineal fat and intestines keep coming out from the hernia. So it's only fat and intestines, no bladder because it's, it's a small one. Then uh, this is this this slides this picture shows that it's been that stitch up. Stitch up repaired already. And uh, the final picture will show you that actually this dog repaired, okay, it, it was then I neutered it four days ago. So this owner came back for neuter. And after that, uh, no, no problem urinating and, and uh, passing motion. So neutering your dog early reduces the probability of development of perineal hernia when the dog is older. So if you don't want all these worries about dog dying under anesthetic or paying a lot of money because it's, it's a long operation, it costs more than neutering. So neuter your dog 
when the dog is is uh, young, maybe six months to one year old, and uh, it's very rarely they develop perineal hernia when they are neutered. If they are not neutered, they get perineal hernias in uh, some cases when they're old. The end of the video.